is there something to worry about with medicines? That is, might some of them have side effects? Do we need safety testing? I mean, and we're taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in the little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. Uh, Social Security, uh, you need to be vaccinated if you want to get uh, whatever, whatever benefits uh, they give, you need to be vaccinated. Somebody would take bio biological tools and create a weapon. That is very scary, and uh, you know, I, it, that that would be sort of the ultimate misuse of the advanced technology. I believe very strongly that Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. And I think it's in the interests of the nation of America and perhaps the world um, for people to understand that and, and to find those responsible for it and trace them back to those corrupt individuals in power who can do things like whack people while they're in jail. McAfee posted an image on social media of a fresh tattoo he got and wrote that he was getting subtle messages from U.S. officials saying, in effect, we're coming for you, McAfee. We're going to kill yourself. I got a tattoo today just in case. If I suicide myself, I didn't. I was whacked. In October of 2020, McAfee was arrested in Spain. On June 23rd, a Spanish court agreed to extradite McAfee to the U.S., where he faces criminal charges of tax evasion. And less than 24 hours later, it is reported that McAfee killed himself in his jail cell. Sean McAfee did not kill himself. In public statements and on his own Twitter, as early as just last week, he said, I will never commit suicide if I die in prison. I have been murdered by the U.S. government. I'm going to listen to a man I knew and respected, not the lying corporate media that before his body's even cold, officially says it's a suicide with no coroner or no inquest. This thing stinks to high heaven, just like Jeffrey Epstein.
billed as one of the largest public education campaigns ever. President Biden's chief medical advisor says people need what he calls trusted messengers. The White House has now recruited TikTokers, YouTubers, and more. The goal, convince Americans, get the COVID vaccine. What is the problem? Get over it. Come on, people, just get the shot. We expect their conversation to be wide ranging, to cover a range of topics of mutual interest, everything from uh, COVID-19 and uh, our efforts to address the global pandemic. pandemic, oh, pandemic. Of the slave to the crickets make a sound. Where's the bold and the brave? We all have to stand our ground. Oh, of the slave to the crickets make a sound. Where's the bold and the brave? Just get a vaccination. Hi, I'm Brandy Vaughn, and for those of you who don't know me, I um, have been an activist speaking out against SB 277 here in California. Wow, what happened to our rights? Yeah. How did I sit back and let this happen? Yeah. Yeah. This is a very slippery slope. In this fight, um, I have been under a little bit of heat and I wanted to document this um, just in case. There is some evil going on here. They're throwing people into quarantine camps. I guess this will be your new home if you're not taking some bad poison. Look at this. It's double fenced. They're not mucking around. This is the new world. Been isolating this whole time, mate. Here we are in um, BP petrol station. He's not letting me pay. He's, requ he's requesting that I sign in before I can pay for my petrol. We're not in your constitution, so how can you come here and turn up and say this is your land? It's not your land. And from tomorrow, singing and dancing will not be allowed in hospitality venues, with the exception of weddings. It makes no sense, does it? Look at the prices, gasoline, real estate, you name it, they are all going up. What's going on here and what's going to happen next? Well, it's gonna get much worse, Tucker. You have to remember that inflation really is nothing more than a tax. You know, when the government spends money, they, they need to get the money, the public has to pay for it. Normally, the government would raise taxes and then taxpayers send money to the government, the government spends it. But we just passed a $1.9 trillion stimulus bill. Nobody's taxes got raised, but we don't get all this government for free. 
What happens is the Federal Reserve prints the money and then the government spends it into circulation. But when that happens, the value of all the money that's already out there goes down. And now the price of everything that you right. want to buy goes up. And that added price is basically the inflation tax. Well, certainly as you have inflation, you reduce the real value of the debt. But the government has no plan to pay off the debt. I mean, they're repudiating it. But the real problem is the amount of money they're going to have to spend just to finance uh, all their current commitments. Uh, and, and this is a, a massive amount of money printing. It's unprecedented inflation because it's the money supply that is being inflated. And as a result, everything costs more because we're not producing more. It's actually the result, the opposite. Americans are at home, they're not producing goods and services, yet we're creating more money to buy the goods and services that fewer people are producing. More money, fewer goods, prices are just gonna keep going up and they're, they're, it's not gonna stop. Mark my words, there will soon be an emergency meeting of the G20 finance ministers or something like that to hash out a new world monetary system. It will just be history repeating but just like before, it will be repeating with a twist, only this time, the twists will be huge. And this is uh, something that everybody needs to get prepared for, and the more prepared you are, the better you will do out of this situation. Basically, rich countries got vaccines, poor countries didn't. In Brazil and India, health systems are being pushed to the limits at the same time that the U.S. is quickly opening up vaccinations for anyone. That's making the pandemic last longer. It's allowing infections to rage and new variants to arise. And at the end of the day, more people are dying than need to be. While the mainstream media condemns the use of ivermectin, the most populated state in India just declared they are officially COVID-free. The problem, as we've discussed, is that ivermectin is cheap and widely available, and it won't make Pfizer or Moderna $60 billion a year like selling the investigational vaccine will. Have you or a loved one been injured by the COVID-19 vaccines? Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson? Have you experienced high fever, chills, severe headaches, extreme tiredness, bruising, blood clots, subdermal mucosis, internal bleeding, menstrual issues, accelerated menopause, arrhythmia, eustachian tube dysfunction, elevated heart rate, myocarditis, tachycardia, pericarditis, anaphylaxis, myopericarditis, deep vein thrombosis, portal vein thrombosis, elevated intracranial pressure, transverse myelitis, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, thrombosis with thrombocytopenia, extreme myalgia, allodynia, tumors, shingles, aphasia, tinnitus, vertigo, apnea, Bell's palsy, guillain bar autoimmune disorders, uncontrollable shaking, unexplained bruises, ruptured blood vessels, pulmonary embolisms, brain injury, heart attack, stroke, paralysis, or death. If you or a loved one has experienced adverse events from the COVID-19 vaccines, call 1-800-TOUGH-SHIT.